What's going on YouTube? I am back with another video and in this one we have an SGC reveal. So this is going to be my last SGC reveal for a while. Um, this is the third one that I had basically sent back to back to back. So I think this one ended up taking somewhere around 70 business days. So I sent this quite a while ago and at the time I sent this, I sent it before I had gotten any results back. And I was, uh, you know, a little bit under the impression that SGC might be an, a little bit of an easier grade. And that is absolutely not the case, as you will see from these grades. Uh, you know, I think for the most part, these grades are probably pretty accurate. Like I said, I hadn't gotten any results back, so I didn't know how really, how tough SGC graded. And they definitely grade, I, I feel like they grade true and accurate. So uh, didn't do really didn't do very well on these grades, as you guys will see here in a second, but it's always nice to get some cards back. I did get a couple decent grades, so I was pretty happy about that. Honestly, a couple of the, the bigger cards that I would have wanted good grades on did get good grades, so uh, overall, not you know not terrible, but definitely not the best submission that I could have hoped for. So before we do get into that, I do just want to mention, if you have not subscribed to the channel, I would definitely appreciate it if you would subscribe. Uh, we are closing in on 8,000 subscribers, have a big, big 10,000 subscriber giveaway planned. And also whenever I do open products, I always do a giveaway. So if you are interested in a bunch of giveaways, definitely subscribe to the channel. And then also uh, the, there is a big card show coming up here in Louisville, Kentucky on September 19th. If you are anywhere in the area, I would suggest you check out the card show. I have a lot of fun stuff planned. Uh, you might see some of these cards at that card show as giveaways. So uh, yeah, be sure to check that out if you are in the area. Again, that is September 19th. I'm really, really looking forward to that. And uh, we will go ahead and get into the giveaway from the last video. And then I'll be right back and show you what these SGC cards got. All right, guys, so we are ready to do our giveaway from the last video. So we did have the Hollow Goran Dragic from the um, Optic Choice Box. So we have our video pulled up. Let's go ahead and get that link and let's pull that over to Safari and let's paste it in and get our comments. So we got 120 comments. So I definitely appreciate everyone who watched that and commented. And now let's see who our winner is going to be. And that is Egerton. And he said, hope they replace it. And he is talking about that black gold taco fall. I definitely appreciate it. I think I am gonna pursue them replacing that card. But anyway, if that is you, uh, be sure to DM me on Instagram or send me an email with your address and I will get the hollow Goran Dragic shipped out. And now let's get back to our video. All right guys, so now that the giveaway is out of the way, we are ready to go ahead and get into these grades and see what these cards got. So I did send a lot of really good players. I sent a lot of LeBrons, Giannis, uh, maybe some Lucas, some Trey Youngs. So some really good players, but uh, you know, as I said earlier, didn't get the best grades. These are actually in order from worst grades to best. So we're gonna save the best for last. And let's go ahead and get into it. First card up is a LeBron James. And it is just a plain old got game uh, insert from Mosaic. I sent, I actually sent this order, I think around the time that Mosaic had just came out. And I wanted to, you know, I kind of sent some cards to SGC thinking that they would, uh, there would be a really quick turnaround and I would get some Mosaic cards back first before, you know, people got their PSA and BGS orders back. Absolutely was not the case. As you can see, uh, it took quite a while. But this one did get an 8.5, so definitely not the grade I was looking for. And uh, you can definitely tell it's a little off-center. This The border over here is definitely a little thinner than this one. But again, uh, I'm going to you know mention again that at the time I sent this, I had not gotten any back. I really had no idea how easy uh, SGC graded or how hard they graded. I definitely think, uh, you know, their grades are, are pretty true for the most part. So 8-5 on the Le LeBron got game. Next one up, we have a Luca again out of Mosaic. So you're gonna see a lot of Mosaic cards. And this one would have actually been a really cool card in a nice grade. It is the give and go insert and it's actually the Mosaic. And we got another 8-5 unfortunately. So Luca give and go Mosaic Prism. And honestly, I'm not sure what was wrong with this one. Uh, these, I mean, there's no border on these, so very, very tough to tell centering. So 
honestly not sure what the issue was on that one. I do know that, you know, mosaic surfaces are notoriously tough. They are, you know, almost always in bad condition. So you definitely have to be careful with the surface on mosaic cards. So next one up is a Trey Young, and you guys might be able to tell from the back that this one is out of status. So I did add a my Luca PSA 10 to the background there. And this one, I was re really hoping for a good grade on this one, but uh, this one you can tell uh, right, I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see it on camera, but there's a little uh, kind of like dent or surface mark there. So again, I had no idea how hard they were gonna grade, and this one did get an 8.5, so I think that is definitely fair. I, you know, 100% know that something was wrong with the surface when I sent this, but just wanted to send it and see what it would get. And unfortunately, that one did get an 8.5, but again, I do think that is a fair grade on that one. As you can see, something was wrong with the surface. So next one up, we have a Kawhi Leonard, and this is from the Optic Fanatics box. Now, this one is pretty interesting because I don't, I don't think I have, I, I sent a, I think I sent a Jaw, a Zion, and a LeBron from the same Optic Fanatics box, as you can see in the background there. They all got True Gym 9.5s from Beckett. This one came out of the same Fanatics box, so it should have gotten, you know, at least a 9.5, you would think, but it did get an SGC 9, so that just goes to show you you know, how, how hard they grade. Uh, like I said, this one should have been identical to the ones that I sent to Beckett, the Jaw, the Zion, the, the LeBron, because they all came out of the same box. Those all true gemmed, and this one got a nine. So if that tells you anything, they definitely, definitely grade tough. And next one up, another mosaic card, LeBron. And let's see what we have here. This one is just the base mosaic. And I didn't pull a ton of LeBrons, but Looking at this now, I definitely I have a better idea of how to tell centering on the base mosaic cards. You you want to tell you want to look at the uh, the where the name is down here, and there's a lot of white space down at the bottom, so it's definitely off center. You want it to have a little less white down there, and that one did get a nine. So LeBron mosaic nine. Uh, so as you can see, a lot of cards that you know definitely didn't grade too well, and we have another LeBron. Uh, MVPs and I just noticed <laughs> this is Genesis what in the world that's this is definitely not Genesis so this one did get a 9 as well so 290 yeah 298 LeBron James MVPs Genesis definitely not a Genesis not sure what happened there this is, this is just the base it's not even a silver so did get two nines and as I was saying, definitely not the best grades here. So if you guys are able to come to that show in Louisville, Kentucky on September 19th, a lot of these cards will be uh, as part of giveaways. So definitely wanna check that one out if you guys are interested. Now some of these I probably will put up for sale that I'm not really interested in keeping, but a lot of these I, I am gonna throw up as giveaways, as stuff that I have planned for that show. So next one up is a Cam Reddish. This is the Orange Reactive. And this one got a nine as well. So we are yet to get a 9.5, and we are about seven cards in. So let's see if we can get our first one here. We have a DeAndre Hunter, again out of Mosaic. Like I said, I wanted to be one of the first ones to have some Mosaic graded cards, and that definitely did not happen. So this one is the green Mosaic, and we got a nine again. So DeAndre Hunter, Mosaic green nine. Let's see if we can break into some 9.5s here. So a Giannis. And this one, I'm not sure. It's either the will to win or give and go. It's the will to win. And this one is the mosaic parallel and another nine. So rough, rough grades for sure. And next one up is another DeAndre Hunter. And this one is gonna be the blue reactive. And let's see if we can get our first nine five. Yes, so first nine five out of like nine or ten cards here so deandre hunter blue reactive prism so nice one there very nice looking card and up next we have another lebron james i think this one i think this is going to be the montage that actually came out of my hobby box so yes lebron james montage that came out of my mosaic hobby box 
and this one did get another 9.5, so nice grade there. Definitely can't, can't complain with the SGC 9.5s, they do sell. Uh, they might not sell for quite as much as BGS 9.5s or PSA 10s, obviously, but they do sell. So next one up, we have a Zion, and this one is gonna be the NBA debut version, and let's see if we can get our first 10. No, so still on the 9.5s. So our third 9.5 is Zion NBA debut, but not bad, definitely take a 9.5. And then we have our second from last, we have a Kobe, and this one I think is out of 1819. Yes, it is. So 1819 Prism Kobe, red, white, and blue. Can we get our first 10? No. <laughs> Are we gonna get any 10s? So Kobe Bryant, red, white, and blue, nine, five. Not a bad one there. His Kobe stuff is obviously uh, doing, doing well recently uh, with the unfortunate passing. But uh, next one up we have a Ja Morant, and you guys can probably already tell that one is out of select. So number 72, that is just gonna be the concourse. And this one is the base version. So 1920 Panini Select Ja Morant base concourse. And this one did get a 10. So our first 10, finally. So unfortunately, uh, I, I sent 15 cards in this order. I think 14 in my last one. And my very first one was like, I don't know, six or seven cards. So I have yet to get an SGC Pristine. I have probably hit around 10 of the of the 10 Gem Mints, but have yet to get a Pristine with that gold border on the label. So our first 10 of this one uh, is a John Morant. And then we have a LeBron James. And you guys, I'm sure, can recognize the back of that card number 129 that is out of prism and this one is the green there's something on that one so green prism lebron very very nice card if you remember i actually got this one and my lamar optic red yellow from a trade uh i i honestly don't remember what i traded for these cards but i think i definitely come out came out on top of that one since lamar stuff completely blew up and LeBron stuff did as well. So I think I definitely did all right on that one. And this one did get a 10 as well. So this one uh, is probably about 250 to $300. And then I'd say this one is probably somewhere around 75 to 100, somewhere in there. So not bad. These two cards definitely, if I were to sell them, paid for the entire submission. So, uh, you know, even as, as bad as some of those cards did grade, all it takes is two cards. Uh, or even one card that gets a 10 that could pay for the entire submission. So not too bad. I am, you know, not what I was hoping for, but definitely could have been worse. And I'm, I'm not too upset because I am gonna be able to sell some of those for sure. And like I said, I plan on have, doing a lot of fun stuff uh, with those as part of giveaways at the card show. So really looking forward to that. And speaking of giveaways, I might throw up one uh, for this video. Let's see, I definitely don't want to give away the tray. Um, let's see here, I might just throw up, on, on this video, I will throw up the 8.5 LeBron Got Game. So if you guys are, are still tuned into the video and you are interested in this one, just be a subscriber, like the video, leave a comment, and you will be entered for this one. So the LeBron Got Game 8.5. And that is gonna do it for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. I will be back tomorrow with some more PSA results. I have some really, really cool cards uh, to show you guys as in uh, tomorrow's video, so I'm excited about that. But that is gonna do it for this one. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you soon.